Hello and welcome back to lesson one, episode three. Now it's time to find a local cause provider which we will be using to obtain high accuracy mapping using RTK corrections. Cause services are usually offered by state surveying departments, geodetic authorities or transportation departments. People use the term cause and end trip interchangeably. So let's just clarify what's what. While both cause and end trip are important for GNSS positioning, they are not the same. Cause refers to the network of permanent GSS reference stations, while end trip is the protocol used to transmit the correction data from these stations to end users over the internet. Which brings up a good point, which is that cause data is delivered over the internet, so you will need an internet connection while you're flying your drone. Which cause provider you select will depend on the area you will be working and they are not all created equal. For example, New Jersey doesn't have a cause network at all. Pennsylvania has a cause network but doesn't allow public access and New York and Michigan have great networks that are open and free to everyone. So when I'm working in the New York area, I frequently use the New York cause system and I will show you how that one works. The Michigan setup is also very similar but each one is different, so you'll need to do some research for your own local needs. Since not all areas are covered by a free service, I will also cover a paid service that is national, and you might want to skip ahead to that if you think that's what you're going to be using. For those of you who, like me, don't like spending money unless you have to, let's take a look at the New York Cause Network. To sign up for this, go to the New York Cause page at cause.com dot.ny.gov slash SBC. If you don't already have an account, you can sign up using the create account button on the top right. Complete the on-screen form and an email will be sent to you asking you to click to verify your email address. Make sure you click on that link before it expires. You can now log in using the credentials you set up. The New York system will automatically subscribe you to all RTN and Rynex products, but you can check that by clicking on the shopping cart or by looking under the account tab at your subscriptions. Note that you will need to renew next year, but it is a free service. Once you have all that, you will need to collect all of the details needed for connecting your controller to the relevant cause mount point. To do that, click on the item on the left hand side that says RTN ports slash mount points. This will take you to a page with information about the mount points that you can connect to and the page has all the information you need including the URL, mount point and port number. Ideally you should look for the closest mount point to the location you will be capturing. One way to do this is to go to the live status link and click on the site status. A map will be displayed showing the location and mount points and you can move around to find the one that is closest to you. But New York has an even easier method than that. If you go back to the RTN ports slash mount points page, the first option listed is a special site called near underscore MSM. If you use these credentials, then the system will automatically feed your controller from the nearest active mount point, saving you a lot of time and headaches. Take note of the server URL or IP address, mount point, username and password and port number as we will be using these later. Now let's talk about alternatives to the government run networks. And there are three I will cover here. One option is to use a paid service such as Point One Navigation. Another alternative is to use the free RTK to go service. And finally, you can create your own local NTRIP caster using a high accuracy GNSS receiver placed on a known point. I'll cover Point One Navigation here. For RTK to go and using your own GNSS receiver, I already have videos on those and I will link to those in the description. To get started with Point One Navigation, open their web page by going to pointonenav.com. Click on the Try Polaris for free button and create an account. Once the account is created and verified, you are ready to set up RTK on the drone. Now that you have selected a cause provider and collected all the information needed, you're ready to test everything. I strongly recommend you do this before you get on site, if possible. 
Unfortunately, you cannot set up a local cause network such as RTK to go or a state owned cause unless you are in the operating area. I've tried and it never reaches the point of giving a fixed connection. But assuming you're in the operating area, follow the following steps. First, obtain the NTRIP address, port number, account ID, password and mount points. If you were using a state provided one such as the NY cause, then you will have obtained those details from their list. If you're using point one, then you should visit the URL app.pointonenav.com and log in. Click on the Start Setup button and follow the instructions on the screen to obtain the details needed. Attach the RTK unit, if necessary. Place the drone in an area with a very clear view of the sky in all directions and start everything up. Make sure you have a good internet connection on your controller because without that, you won't be receiving the cause corrections. From the camera view, click the three dots and then click on the RTK icon, which is the little satellite down at the bottom right hand corner. Now select Custom RTK Network. Use the drop down to select one of the five available presets that you can save and then click the Edit button and enter the information collected into the relevant fields. Then click Save. The status should change to converging and then after a while change to connected. If everything is good, it will let you save. Otherwise, it will not allow you to save and you'll have to figure out where you went wrong. Note that you will not be able to take off if RTK is enabled and the status has not changed to connected. Pro tip. After editing, it will often say converging and never actually obtain a fixed position. In this case, reboot the drone and you will often find it locks in very quickly. The good news is it doesn't care if it's nighttime, so you can travel to an area you'll be flying tomorrow and set this up the night before. At this point, you've done everything right. Your airspace and weather are cleared, your mission is planned and your RTK connections are good to go. We're now ready to move on to lesson two, which is on-site setup and flight execution. See you in the next video.